Today we're having a look at our new structured parametric steel detailer. The difference to this one is it has an analysis mode that you can just flick between detail and analysis. Given that it's parametric, obviously you can quickly change beam sizes, column sizes, etc. And it has some connection types, so I can just change it to fully welded. I can rotate the column. And I can put stiffness in if that flange isn't up to capacity. And of course I can change the dimensions of the plate or I can add some additional rows of be uh, bolts. And then I can run the analysis on my new section. So in analysis mode you've got a finite element analysis result. Everything's modelled as thin plates with the correct thicknesses based on the inputs. And you can see the stress minimum and maximum are colour coded and it'll show stress in the sections, the beam and the column as well as the plates. And it also will show you the stress in the bolts. So here we've got an axial and a shear load for each bolt. And you can see where the load is applied. So let's try the smallest possible section sizes. And you can see it's come preloaded with a lot of standard sections for Australia. And you can actually mix and match them. So here I've got a column with a beam, but I will have to rotate that column. It might not even fit, so I might have to reduce that plate. It's probably pretty close. It doesn't show the little radius at the moment. It's probably a bit better. And the height. I'll reduce a bit. Now this is probably going to be quite a lot of stress. So let's run that result. But firstly I'm going to change it to fully welded. And see what comes out. Have a look at our analysis. And as you'd expect, it's quite severe. It shows a deflection, which you can adjust the magnitude of. Got up to 80 MPA there. And even the column sections experiencing a fair bit of stress there. So I'm just going to change back to detail mode. I'm going to use the H rotation. Because they're the same size, you can see that they match exactly. I'm going to run that. So 34 MPA, it's not too bad. You can see there's a bit of stress in the flanges of the column. So say we wanted to get rid of that by putting some stiffness in. I'll just put the top one in, which would be under tension. I'll run that again. It's 
and you can see in analysis mode it only redraws once it's finished the analysis. It's using Kiwi 3D for its finite element. The advantage with that is that it doesn't use meshes. So you can use breps and it makes things a lot easier. But yeah, you can see here we've reduced our stress in the column flange or the column section completely and reduced it that color right down probably halfway it's probably 16 MPA which before it was 32 like it was at the bottom and if I put two stiffness in it has helped a little bit oh, we're down to 14 MPA that's why so this dynamically updates so we're about half stress it's interesting to note that this middle section stressed up so in some cases you can put a diagonal stiffener in there as well to alleviate that and now let's have a quick look at the plate option as well so if I go back to the other mode I want an end plate and I'm going to just increase the UC size columns. As I said before, these are preloaded with a strain, but you can manually put any section size you want in just by specifying the height and the width and the flange thicknesses or the, and the web. Um, I can also preload it with any country quite easily as well standard sections for each country so let's just increase the beam size a bit as well now I'm going to have to redo that plate let's make it a 3 360 just increase this plate 420 say no, I don't think that's quite enough. Let's try 500. And I'll just get rid of this row of bolts for the moment. But I'll change the thickness of the plate down to 6 thick. Let's see what we get out of that. Now, as you'd expect, that plate's deflecting quite a lot, being only 6mm thick, and it's up to 104 MPA. This deflection is obviously exaggerated. And also, bear in mind that this is only 1 kilonewton at 1 metre, so this is 1 kilonewton meter moment on this end so not a lot of force really for the size of the sections so that plate would be within capacity given steel grades so deflection is exaggerated but let's see if we can reduce the stress on this plate by adding some additional rows of bolts so if I put a hundred in there and I put say 400 no I want about 300 and let's try 340 maybe 360 a bit better. Let's run that. So now we're down to 57 MPA. So putting those extra bolts has made a lot of difference there. Now 
Now the plates taking a lot of the stress here in proportion to everything else. But what happens if we made a 30 mil pl thick plate? Let's see what happens. You can see only 4 MPA on that plate. Yeah, not much. But the color plot, because the stresses are so low, uh, the uh, magnitude, the color has started to pick up in the other sections where you can see those low stresses are happening in other parts of the section. Obviously, these section capacities and plate thicknesses have a lot more capacity given you can go up to at least 250 MPA on a plate normally. I could increase this load by quite a lot. So hopefully that was interesting to see something you can do with parametric design and finite element analysis. The idea of this of course is to save the engineer huge amounts of time and so everything has been designed to be able to be accessed quickly. You've got all your sections preloaded and you've got fast results and of course you can just print this out as a 2D detail or you can bring this detail into other modeling software quite easily as well to give to the architect or the builder. Thanks for watching this structured parametrics video. Leave a like or subscribe if you found this useful and we'll see you in the next one.